Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 9 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Bites. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh oh. I mean, hold up, wait! But he's referring to Lucy, right? Yeah. Oh, baby, you still over here watching over her. That's sweet. Ten whole day, Lord. I hope so too. <laughs> it's all right to be worried. In a way, yeah. Well, yeah, dog version of you can, you know, aww, aww, it's so cute.
Well, of course. Who else are we going to see? We have unanswered questions that need to be answered. That's a nice bed. I, I like the fact that it is circular. That whole thing. That, that would be a lot of good room, but I felt like that would take so much space. I still despise him so much. Like, how can someone adorable as him be so fucking evil? That. Uh, oh no! Oh shit! Girl, what you be dreaming about? Oh, th wait, hold on. This is the tragedy? He is your brother, and he does care about you, babe. Mm.
Well, I mean, because you were kind and sweet to her. But there's something about you that just, it, it doesn't scream help me or pity me, but you just feel bad for it yourself, you know? She's just shy, baby, and that's okay. Well, somebody secretly went down there without y'all knowing and did some shit. So, um, that's not good. I feel like one of y'all is a betrayer. No. It had to be swapped out recently. So the question is, who swiped it out and why did they swipe it out? What do they need it for? Great. Great. Just great.
But why would the Websters want to take it for themselves? To act revenge on Phil and her family? See, once again, more questions than answers! Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, and you just bombarded him like that. Let's see. I don't want to draw too much attention to it. Once again, I'm in the I don't trust every new person we see phase because since we now know one, there is a spy among them, something ain't right. And we only got a couple more weeks with this show before season two is over. And I feel like we're going to end this season in a freaking cliffhanger. That's so mean. <laughs> um, well, that's not good for him. He probably did. Breathing.
bad feeling about this. Oh. Well, um, at least I said I was right. Was that the same guy that just talked? No, that's somebody else. What the absolute fuck is going on now? A, a half man, half wolf just killed somebody? Okay, um... They gotta watch this today and not yesterday, because, woo, I probably would have been like, what the... It, it, exactly how I feel now. What the... I mean, this wasn't a cliffhanger. I'm not mad at it, but yeah, I'm a little confused on that bit. What, what the wolves coming here to do? What they co they're coming to kill Lucy? I'm so confused right now. I mean, the episode was good. I really enjoyed it for what it was. I love the fact that, you know, a family member of Lucy's came to check on her, even though, yeah, at the end of the day, she has no one. And she still feels like she has no one. And she wants to push away her one remaining family member away so that she still ultimately has no one. But yeah, she still has Chise. I love how Phil is still being Phil, where she's still very mysterious and shy and such, but we need, I, I feel like we still need more context on the Webster tragedy, tragedy between these two. Um, now that we know that it was a spider, aka Webster family, that could be the reason of who sold the book. Um, I, I would be very untrustworthy of not only uh, Lucy herself, but also her one remaining family member who's left because why why would you take it and if they didn't take it who did they, who did and why do they take it we only got a couple more weeks once again with this show and then what happened to the centaur tech character what the heck happened to him i i i, I, I mean he, he walks, he's going back to, like, his dorm room or whatever, office for the night, and the next thing you know, the book just does something to him, and now, what? Gone. Explain that ish. This was an episode, but the fact is that, you know, even the staff are now under, like, high alert, because, you know, truly, having, this possibly has never really happened to them before. They have to be very cautious on every little thing that they do, Every little thing that they say to someone because wrong one wrong move and then you picked off one by one. And so we're kind of getting that. So who knows who could go next next week? I, I mean, everybody just needs to huddle up together and just stay together all 24-7. You know, you never know. But um, Joseph, in his situation, especially with he says arm and what happened last week, and him saying, like, oh, well, you know, something that was bad tried to save you. Is that truly evil? Yes. I mean, now I'm kind of in the middle towards that because it's, it's, it, uh, it, it's a little confusing. I, I mean, I get it, but I feel like her arm is going to overtake her one day. And that's why, you know, I want her to eventually go back to normal without that arm. And then this situation also on Lucy losing her powers. Like, is she ever going to truly get hers back? Or is she just immortal for the rest of her days? Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.